Thank you for joining us, as always, on Half Hour Henshin. We are on this journey of tokusatsu with you guys, as always. I am Sleepy Witch, and with me is... DJ Azur, the 2.5D Hero Takatuber. <sighs> and oh my god, we are, we are, you know, speaking of our journeys, we're, we're almost on the end of one. Don Brothers, you know, almost last episode. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, Oof. yeah, I'm. I'm, <sighs> I'm dreading the end, but also, you know, I'm. I'm happy. It's. It's. I love this show so much. So someone was like sharing a post. It was apparently like a. Uh, it was like a Gintama like title screen that says, "Um, you just, you just, you just watch a Super Sentai series, and by the end, you don't want it to end, <laughs> or something." It was so funny. That's true. It's true. You never, you never truly want it to end, but. Poof. Yeah. <sighs> there's 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 a lot there. But let us start with Geats, which is going hard, not in the <laughs> sentimental way, but in the holy fuck. <laughs> yeah. So oh, man. we got the laser on uh was it Zin? Zin, Zin? Mm -hmm. I can never yeah, Zin. Uh, yeah. He, we got his 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 uh rider suit that we saw from last time. He loads in mm -hmm. to deal with Ver, uh Baroba, who just first of all, can we talk about him him dealing with Buffa and uh Sparrow and Nodge, like, yeah, yeah, Nodge Sparrow, just like instantly. Yeah. The freaking power scaling, and it's, 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 it's like we were talking about this last week a, a bit, you know? Yeah. She, how that, the power scaling is... How, that yeah, uh, Baroba, Baroba seems insane, and then, like, Jin is just as... Men. And I feel like, I don't know, it feels like maybe Jin controls gravity or something? Yeah, well, we'll talk about that later. Because <laughs> gotcha. that was one of the... Because that was the, the scene of the episode. That was the shot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Z Jin just, like jumping up on the walls doing a very i really love how nonchalantly he just shoots nad sparrow but barova's yeah. got the uh the gm driver which means she's got control and she just ports out of there again going back to my favorite trope uh in toku the fact that the bad guys can just peace out yeah, the bad guys like it's great. no, we can just teleport. Goodbye. Yeah, no, it's it's actually really funny considering that um like my like the game series that I've been obsessed with lately, which is Trails, is that the enemies do the same thing too. It's like they 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 are able to teleport out, and everyone's like wondering how are they able to teleport out. They are always questioning how are they able to teleport out. Yeah, it's uh, it's intense. What I really yeah. like is I don't know if they did it like a as like a slight edit or something similar. But now, when we have the, like, scene of everyone as a writer, now, instead of it being, like, the writers, and then we, like, transition to, like, the the Jamatos, we, mm -hmm. now we get to see Buffa, and it, like, it does, like, a smooth transition instead of, like, a pause, and now we switch over. I yeah. think that looks really nice. I think they, they you does. know, it's a small edit, but it, it make I feel like it makes a, the world of difference just mm -hmm. for, like, the feel. Uh, really yep. vibing with that. Yep, and, and then... and. And, and, then, and then talking about piecing out and uh, stuff like that, uh, yeah, we basically see that, uh, yeah, you need to have you need to have the producers. Um, you have to have to, the second thing is that you have to have also permission of the producer to uh, yeah. to use the god. Yeah, you need uh, what is it, glare and gazer. Mm hmm. Yeah. So that was, yeah, that was that was great. Yeah, you get to combine them for the GG driver for the ultimate gamer. Mm hmm. But <laughs> yeah. I don't know. The producer the producer in this is very cool. Baroba. I just love her. Her character is like I love her. It's what's what's wild what, card. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wild card. Uh it's also what's the what's the meme? It's like, man, that's a lot of red flags. Good thing red's my favorite color. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh, uh, that is terrible. That is bad, but uh is terrible. But yeah, I love how we get the like little shortened like uh gazer log in and she's like, bye bye. Yeah, yeah, just 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 dips. Yep. Yeah, like it's like not 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 dealing with something like not dealing yep. with actual power scaling. Yep, and then like the goddess, the design of like the little pod or thing, whatever, it's pretty cool. I like it. It's got some good mm -hmm. aesthetics to it. The current thing is paused and so we get to talk about i love seeing uh what's it called host just being slapped all the time yeah. this episode 
exactly and but yeah like you know we yeah we we, we get we get some revelations like saying you know no we can't no we're not going to tell you anything about this no we're not going to tell you anything about this but you know we we kind of have the idea yep um, and I'll, also again i really love how just the fact that the producer literally has like a haircut mirroring ace i you know that's actually that's actually interesting and i'm just i'm and wondering I'm... if that means something <laughs> uh also i feel like just they've been doing a really good job with it in this particular episode i feel like the framing of the shots also has been really good there's a real mm -hmm. a lot of really good shots where we'll see people like in the in like uh the front of the shot and behind them you'll see someone who like it's actually focusing on like especially yeah. this one where we have like the main shot on ace and you see uh sumura in the background like and you see her face and she's like man do we tell him or not yeah and after that, uh, and after that, we we see like you know still small sponsor scenes, you know where uh, where Neon and Kawa get their uh, get uh, get some uh, extra help, and we yeah. realize that you know they could they, they, like you know apparently they could summon the help right then and there, and not just to the world. Yep, but and also then, uh, uh, we get to see the scene with the in the Jamato base beforehand. <laughs> Oh, which oh my god! Just yeah, they're all just it's, it's like it's like it's like, it's like let, let's just destroy stuff. Come on, let's just destroy stuff. Let's go, let's go. No, Don't they're they're speeding it through it. The sponsor scenes are pretty cool. I really I really like Kawa's sponsor. Uh, I just like that he's a frog. Very <laughs> good. Uh, and again, yeah. just because of like the the silliness that they talk, about, they just they just got like a thing from like, you know, like the lawn care store. <laughs> that's our guy <laughs> i mean it works it works it's pretty great the note from the sponsor the on uh, the thing that has me thinking is the the note for the sponsor is like yo is the sponsor the possible fiance as well that's what that's what i'm wondering too it, it would make sense yeah yeah I need, it would definitely I need, make sense. I need to go. I need. To, I hope they eventually sell one of those frog statues. I need to get one. <laughs> yeah, and talking about sponsors. Um. Yeah, Gene's like saying your present for me is me. <laughs> yes, bro. That's cool. I also really love going going back a little bit. Uh, since we know that uh we're not talking about anything other than these two episodes for the most part, we don't have like a lot of extra stuff, so we can go a little bit longer. Going back a little bit to last episode. Mm -hmm. the fact that like again everything with the things is like you know with this show is really meta the fact that it's a show within a show the fact that everything that the behest of like we have to go for realism and the fact that like Jin's motivation is like i want to feel something from watching this show yeah <laughs> entertain it's so me it's it's ooh, i really like it it's some really good vibes some really interesting stuff and i just i love seeing them work together they have some really cool like tag team synergies yeah it, oh man yeah and ta yeah that that tag team of uh of zin and uh and ace is just so good and again like and the the red and white and the blue and white like work together so well mm-hmm mm -hmm. yeah I, yeah it's like I, I i honestly i really love just how like kind of flashy uh zin's uh, henshin is yes it's very good uh i like the style i like the belt uh I can't wait to see what what uh Geet is gonna do with that gun. Yeah. Oh man. But and yeah, it's, it's really it's it's really nice too how like he also snaps. Like I, I it's, it's like I wonder if it's also a fanboy thing or if it's just you know him doing that. I on, under assumption is currently a fanboy thing, but you know we we never know. There's some revelations that 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 could tell you otherwise. I really like the scene where they're like shooting back to back, but Jin is like vertically on a tree. Oh yeah, no, it's it's so good. What's also great about this too is that like they're both shooting and they are like dodging each other's moves. Yep. It's so good. And they're just, both just casually. And they're both like I like the both the fact that they're both like shoot shooting based riders. Yeah. So they it's, get it's to great. like demon match. We get to see some cool fights from both uh Tycoon and uh Nago as well. I really like uh we actually get to see him using like the single blade version of the blade of the ninja blade to block and then he like drops the little one and he's like, Yo, let me show you. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. And we get to see him use the revolve to like dodge an attack. Mm-hmm. Oh man, what was what was also what was also pretty great about uh about the Zin fight? It was just that like you know like it's like maybe it's gravity, maybe it's something, but it's just the fact that you know he's like the best part too is that it basically just flips the entire screen and it's like you're like wait what? It's yeah, like, it, it the, the times when it disorients you. Yes, it in intentionally disorientates you. I loved what they did with the shooting for that. It was so cool. Uh, yeah, I also was... just again going back to the other thing, really like seeing the top uh, boost tycoon. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think we'd seen that until now. I think we've mostly seen bottom boost Typhoon. Uh, yeah. But him and Nago are like, we're doing cool until they get attacked by Nodge Sparrow. Uh, <laughs> Geats is fighting Buffa. They're having their destined duel that Jin doesn't want to take a part of because he's like, I am enjoying watching my my favorite guy fight. <laughs> that that's the kind of battle that stirs the soul. <laughs> yeah, he's again, he's really he's really trying to get his like he's really trying to like I don't know raise his heart, raise his feelings. And they accidentally yeah. let some information go. Geats gets hit by Buffa, but he's done it. He's figured it out. The goddess yeah. that I mentioned, Hopping Tourist, they're from the future, baby. <laughs> yeah, that's so sick. It's like, oh, man. Like, it, it it's almost like, where do we go from here? But at the same yeah. time, it basically means that uh, we're getting, uh, you know, everyone's favorite. We are breaking fate. We are going to break out of the simulation. Oh, so, yeah, for yeah, sure. Like, I love, first of all, yeah. that chef's kiss that's my favorite kind of thing that also <laughs> adds another layer to the similarities between like geet and Jin, and also like again hairstyle wise and stuff with the the uh producer as well where it's like could they be descendants of geet mm-hmm. uh but also because they talk about you know the way that like oh this in goku period or like roman and greek times or times that are like really famous yeah this this yeah. the happened like current twenty first century is also like a really famous setting for people to uh be you know mm-hmm. using up uh for travel purposes and everything yeah yeah and like like did you did you um actually you know this this may be spoilers for a game you may have played but uh did you play Dang and Rampa V three or no I never played V three actually uh, damn it ah oh, okay I'm okay I'm not gonna spoil it for you I've, I've, I've actually I need to finish it's, two it's, still I, I never went it's back so to good it. yeah because because when because when you see it like if if you ever do get around to it. You, it's like it's like you're gonna be smiling when, uh, with with me reminded of me yeah. mentioning this, and then we get to see Baroba uh, loading, baby. Yeah, bar- oh my god, rotates really funny, people- Baroba in 3D. <laughs> no, the funniest thing about it too is that like she is now like I think canonically like the most naturally like giant rider, which is funny. Yeah, and <laughs> here's so the thing. Ridiculous. Yeah, her her thing is like a big giant mech, also bull, I think. Mm. Uh. And she basically destroys the entire Jamar area because they're like, well, you guys find out we're from the future. That means we have to basically restart again. And it basically blows everyone up except for yeah. Jin, who has like a shield. Yeah. Uh, What's also interesting about that, too, is that uh, because at least we know they're still available. But at the same time, like it was revealed that it was already like kind of uh, the Jamato Garden was an erased area already. So pretty much it's like, what, what's what's a second erasure anyways? What's the second erasure? Yeah. Yeah. And, and they talk but, about how like all the, 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 the gardens always happen in like the uh, like every every place that has a garden is a place that uh, has had a basically a failed DGP. Uh, and then we yeah. get the rule, which basically just tells us that it's to entertain an audience from the far future, which, you know, okay, so, now we know so that. What's, so what's interesting, too, is that because of this, uh, and I guess the final thought of this is that uh, we now know that uh, most likely Ace is not actually from Greco-Roman times now. It was just a setting, most likely. Maybe, maybe. The other, yeah. the other big thing is I really like, again, going with the meta, they're doing like a DGP special feature next episode. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, I forgot about a special feature. Like, do you think it's going to be a recap? Because, I mean, it is technically mid-season. So, I've seen a... Oh, I see a lot of stuff from this that looks new. I think what they're going to do is they're going to do some, like, quote-unquote meta way to make a recap. You, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's going to be, like, a recap, like, in the DGP, but our episode's not going to be a recap, if that makes sense. <laughs> That's my current uh, assumption. What I really like... What I really like is we've seen stuff on some of the other writer forms for, like, the sponsors. We get to see some people here with, with like, the little mm-hmm. writer gun. I l- know that there are some divisive opinions about uh, Baroba's, like, writer form, like, it being, like, an actual CG mech instead of it being a suit. Mm-hmm. I kind of vibe with it in a way that, like, in the future, they already have, quote-unquote, like, a different style of writer because, like, the times have changed, quote-unquote. And I like that, that conceptually, and especially I like that conceptually with, like, Gene having, like, a regular suit because he's such an, like, an old-school fanboy. He has to write it. So, also, that maybe makes you think that they will have regular suits in the future, question mark? Mm. Uh, they could maybe sense. have two modes. Maybe there's going to be a big Gene mode as well. Mm. No idea. Yeah, but... Yeah, but it also does really like lend to like the whole technological aspect of uh, of the vision driver and uh, and the laser rays. So that does make sense. And talking about uh, CG suits, 
Don Bros. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Basically, Don Bros. Uh, we don't have any much other uh, Toku news other than the fact that soon, uh, Mass of Grace is getting a new comic. No slash one or no one, and it's even going to get like a multimedia podcast. And considering, just I love the vibes of that. Uh, we were talking about this beforehand, but yeah, Don Brothers is here. We are on the final stretch, man. Yeah. Oh man, this, this, this like this was a very very fu- this is a very fun episode. And talking about meta, like you know, I'm just going to jump around this episode for the most part. Like 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 the fact that our our villain this episode is a uh, is a Hitoski of of King Oger is the funniest thing to me. He's a he's a Hitoski of King Oger. The fact that it's his na- the little dude again, he's back. And he was like, finally he, he, he was finally free and they forced him to come back for a fourth I felt time. So bad. I felt so bad for Minoru like during that. I'm like, it's like, no, he's trying to not do that stuff. And then like the the three of them just use their blow darts and just just uh, just bro just the scene up the scene it is. the scene with the blow darts where they're all just like rotating and just keep shooting him with it. It's so funny. It was really very funny. very well um, acted. Very hilarious. Yeah. I feel bad for Minoru. I feel bad for his mom. I love the end at the end where she's like, "Are you?" Are you are you sure? Are you sure you're done? Are you done? Are you done? Are you done? And she's like keeps pouring more and more tea. I really yeah. love the scene at the beginning with everyone in the like color coded tracksuits. Uh, very cute. Uh, they're all gonna. And, every- tra- <laughs> yep. and everyone ditches. They're all gonna train. They do like a little. They do like a little like numbered roll call and like. Bro, I felt so bad for Kijino. You know, he like looks at where he like he's got a little bit of like the reverse tan where his ring is missing because he's not married anymore. Uh, quote yeah. unquote, and like, oh, interesting. Man. And then, I love, but, uh, but the, but I also, the three yeah. that are left. Oh, yeah, yeah the three I also that are love left that. Uh, two. what's it called? Sono. She tried to like skip her number in the roll call to be next to Subas. <laughs> so <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, he just, like so pushes funny. her back, but then immediately we're like. <laughs> Okay, we got some news. Haruka's got a new manga serialization, so her and the editor basically run off to go do, like, no, we're gonna go write manga. Uh, Kijino's moving. Uh, It's a perfect day to do a haiku. Tsubasa just disappears after Kijino. Uh, (laughs) Sonoshi disappears after Tsubasa. And, you know, it's a perfect day for a haiku. Yeah. Uh... And, and then and then we realize just how strong uh, uh, Sonoe, um, uh, Jir, uh, Jiro, and Taro are. Yeah, like, or they're, they're like finished, on... finished, uh, tar, uh, finished uh, Jiro anyway. Now yeah. that he's one person, yeah, they they take on the three uh, overseers. Advise, overseers, and it's super good. I also really <laughs> like that, like, because again, before they were holding back to let the others continue the thing, and Sono even uh, Sonoza could have done could have defeated the guy at any moment by upgrading to his like red version i don't know his like little upgrade yeah. that he does his momotaro powers uh and then they put out the <laughs> no 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 no. okay look, look at what i just sent you the best part too is that like everyone's like saying oh my god they are they they are they are so meant for each other because because uh, yeah yeah taro taro and taro and sonoe where the where the bandanas they still have the bandanas from when they yeah, saved each other they're... wait it's no so good Yes, Bro, this yes. this truly is like faded love, okay? It's, it's so it's so the, it's This so good. guy decided he was gonna write the most complicated version of Romeo and Juliet <laughs> in Sentai, and he did it. It's, it's so good, yeah. Like, it's, it's amazing. Like, ten yeah, out of and, ten. And, and 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 that's like that's a callback from like thirty episodes ago too. That's the best thing about it. I love this. It's so no, good. It's super super good. Jiro uh, welcomes welcomes us on the side of the Don brothers, and Sonos so I can tell he's really different. There's a I I think kind of cute scene of Kijino you know, trying to quit work and his boss being like, "I'd miss you too much. I want you here. I'm sorry," but you know, Kijino you know, deserves something nice. Yeah, and, and, then, uh, and then after yeah. and then after that, we we get the whole thing of like you know we're uh, pretty much the food is like super good, but that's because like you know Jiro was the one that was cooking it all at uh, uh the entire time. Yeah, and, was, and he made it the way, you know, his father made it for him because he, you know. Yeah. You know, he still loved him kind of, and that's that's cute. I the one other the only thing that worries me for this next episode is the fact that Taro seems to not be interested in doing a duel or fighting, and he seems to be maybe forgetting things as we see later in the Odin card yeah. that he just forgets who their enemies are. And he's like, Oh, you're right, and they're like, something's wrong, and he's like 
yeah, maybe something is wrong. And now I'm going back to the the, the when mm. they had the future and Taro wasn't there anymore for some reason. Yeah. That that was my assumption from how Taro could tr you know treated them the way she did, but then also still drew Taro into the the manga comic or whatever. Uh, mm. And I'm just like, oh, maybe Taro's gone. And like I think of like, no, don't do it. <laughs> Not like this. Yeah, it's yeah, it's so sad. And after that, uh, but after that, and then we get to like the most sus aspect of this episode, which is the 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 love quadrangle, the oh love square. God. Okay, I, I I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, this is probably the part of this that like thematically in some aspects, I really like it. On mm. other aspects, I feel like I wish we would have gotten more episodes to deal with this. Exactly. Because just, like because like bro, this is so much happening. We've gotten the climax of this relationship and we it's been like crammed into like five episodes. This will be if I had to complain about Don Brothers, it would be that this I think could have been like didn't have to be as rushed. But Subasa's out being chased by the police. He asked Natsumi to run with him and she kinda doesn't. She's yeah. had Kijino and her, they're talking they're talking things out, and she decides she wants to talk with Kijino some more. Uh my favorite part is the cops finally catch Tsubasa, and Sonini just takes them all out, and then starts setting cop cars on fire. That's so good. Yeah. Oh, man. It's, oh, it's, so it's super, super good. They run off, and like, okay, again, while a lot of this stuff is kind of rushed, because she's like, that's overkill. I, yeah. Again, really good framing. And shot composition. Did you notice yeah. the fact that, like, whenever they're running away, you know, they destroyed the cop cars, they're running away, he holds her hand, and right yeah. behind them is a church. I didn't notice that they one. Got, but... They got they got, the cross, they got the church with, like, the cross behind them. Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. The, and it's like... The, the, the church they use for a lot of scenes. They use for a lot, a lot of, of scenes and a lot of hentai, but, you know, the main thing that I think of a church for is what... <laughs> and yeah. I'm like, yo, true, true. they have this in the background, too. Yeah, uh, which is uh, you know that's a whole thing. Yeah, and then the, we get a cute scene. We get a cute scene of Sonaza and Haruka working on manga. Yes, adorable. Mm -hmm. Kijino and, and Miho talking at the apartment, and she talks about how that was the dream she was having, and she's like, "I dreamed about being here with you and being happy." And then she like yeah. hugs him and then runs off, and I'm like, "Oh mm -hmm. no!" <laughs> and then and then uh, and, and then we finally get back to actually where we actually can talk about. Uh, Minoru and the overseers, and it's so funny. They get wrecked so badly that they try getting the they Don do. Bros to help them out. It's so funny. They do, and I love, I love <laughs> Minoru. I feel so bad. He's gonna become the ultimate king. I also do like it. It, it reminded me, you know, purple is supposed to be a very royal color because of a lot of reasons. I'm like, oh, that makes sense yep. why they added the the papillion for uh, Oger. Mm -hmm. It makes sense. Yeah, but uh. Yeah, the Odin card is great. I also really liked seeing the little Odin card old man uh, come yeah. back. He's like, Sonoy, my boy. Yeah, and then and then and then, and then we get the the chroma keyed. Uh, we get the chroma keyed uh, um, uh, uh, Hitos King. <laughs> yes, because, like, I just think that he shows up like as a human and like purposely eats all the Odin. He's like, yo, I'm gonna just do this as a human. He's got his like like the little CG they did on his face, just have him like. Oh was yeah. really dumb looking, but I loved it. Yeah. And then we get Sona Nun, Sona Ya just watching over the battle and I'm like, yes. Yeah, they're just uh, in the background. Yeah. Man, it's, it, I, I, I just I just love seeing Sona Ya's or at least as I know him, Kaiza's freaking just smile. It's like everyone's like, yes. Apparently, apparently uh, production wise, uh, he was waiting. Uh, it's like it's like when he was watching the show, he was like he wanted to be a part of it, and he was about to give up when when he got the call. <laughs> uh, he, but yeah, like he like because he's Kaiser. He was actually already in another. Um, he was in another uh, Super Sentai already, which was a uh, Jew Oger. Um, but I have not actually watched to the point where he was there. But he is in Jew Oger as well too, so he has done Sentai before. Yep. And then we get to see Taro basically take out all five versions of the thing with a single slash, and even you know. Both uh, Jiro and uh, Sonoza are like, oh man, or Sonoy, like, bam, man, he uh, he has still got so much power left in him. Mm hmm. Yeah. And, and then, then we got a cute happy birthday for Taro. <laughs> this is, this was, 
this is like this is like this scene is like the essence of Don Bros <laughs> because yep. it's like you know, like you know it's like it's like you know like you know Tar- Taro's like oh wait wait you know, yeah I'm happy right it's like say oh does that mean you're happy with us no no no, no. and then he has a yeah heart attack. and then he has a heart attack which again so cute. I, I just he has the heart attack he dies and then you see all of them being like he has no pulse he's dead and they all start cheering. <laughs> Funny. And then I love like it just zooms in on Haruka. Wait, should we should we really be cheering about that? Yeah. They also gave him some really cute gifts. I liked how he got yeah. the thing, and it's like you know, do you know what happiness feels like now? And he's like, I guess a little bit. I also mm-hmm. like that everyone else is wearing a uh, one party hat, but Haruka's wearing two. She's wearing like little oni horns, basically. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. Yeah. I am. <laughs> Oh man, the final festival for the Don Brothers is up next. Oh, we're gonna see Murasame. Man. Looks like we're gonna see Taro and his dad having like a good meal together. Uh, I want to see the manga art that they drawed for this for the manga. <laughs> oh, oh wait, actually, okay. So, 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 so I, so I'm rewatching that. The funniest thing is that because. Because Subasa has never been around for a for a Taro lie, he's the only one panicking while everyone's cheering. Is he? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Was... <laughs> he's just like, wait, what's going on, guys? Someone get the doctor. Also, can we talk about the fact that uh that uh Kaito set a whole thing up and that it wasn't even Taro's birthday? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, that was cute. That was, yeah, this is such a such a cute series, bro. The whole thing, the whole thing's been so cute. I'm hoping we get like a good, like wholesome last episode that like really shows us. I don't know. Just kind of. I hope it ends on a really good note. This has been such a fun show. I'm gonna be so sad to see it go. Uh, and yeah. I mean, I'm gonna enjoy watching Kenojo probably because I I just have a lot of fun with things, but. This this was special. Gotta yeah. This, this was really yeah. special. Yeah, it's it, like it's okay. So like, oh wow, we actually still have a little bit of time because we rushed through Don Bros. Okay, well um, we rushed so through Don Bros. Actually... I forgot to do the. I forgot to give you the click. We have about like three more minutes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, three minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, we didn't. Oh, it's, it's not that we rushed. It's also just like, man, we just want to talk about it. We're so hyped, dude. <laughs> exactly uh, but it's actually it's actually kind of great though because like uh it's um man like you you didn't watch zenkai but zenkai is very much all about the toys and very much all about the mecha and all the fights and stuff like that and it was kind of light on the character stuff but it was like you know just super cute it was like you know very much like kind of like a uh, since it was the 40th anniversary they basically you know just did a lot of things they kind of it didn't really rush through things it was just very light on story but it was very big on you know showing off the toys and stuff like that while the pair of it, which is technically Don Bros right now, is so much about the characters that it's like they don't really have times. And like, like I was basically talking with uh, with a friend of mine. The mecha part is technically the weakest part of Don Bros, but it is because yeah, they don't they don't get a lot of attention. Like it's like I've said this for the past three weeks, like seriously. But I would like, say you know, it's that, all about the characters. Yeah, I would say that Don Brothers is a slice of life show. That just happens to be about people in a sun time. <laughs> yeah, it's it's great. Yeah, like we don't have like a massive big bad. Like technically we have Sonan and Sonaya. We don't know what they're gonna do. But like you but know, they I might, don't. Here's think... the thing: they might not even be bad guys. We don't know. They might show up next episode and just be like, "Good, we see that you have uh, healed the rift between our kind. We appreciate." <laughs> Could literally just be that or something. You yeah. know, I mean, yeah, I mean, like, technically, there are you, technically people can argue that there are weak elements, like, you know, the ring of forgiveness, just like the fact that they solve like big mysteries in like a single episode without much, um, without much fanfare is just like, eh, whatever, just enjoy it, man. It's like, it's, it's kind of fanfare, but also, like, I don't know, it's like the other thing, too, is like, pe- like, one of the things I always see online, at least, is like people complain that Murasame ba- like barely shows up after she becomes like, you know a uh, uh no, sorry, after they become a um a weapon for subasa who doesn't even use it against the beast shows but at the same time their role got diminished the moment the beast shows were gone not only so, that but like subasa did use morizami basically when it counted and then immediately found out hey if you do that natsumi dies for real and then he was like oh shit yeah maybe i yeah, should exactly. be using this exactly like, i do you know, i do i do kind of hope i mean it's we saw the preview there is going to be morizami uh next episode mm-hmm. so 
hopefully they're going to wrap yeah. that up as well. Uh, yeah, my I would say that, yeah, if I had to have, like, my biggest complaint with Don Brothers is the fact that there is some stuff where it feels like they did it really fast. And now I think Don Brothers is just, it's just so much fun, and I, I don't care, you know? I just don't. But I can totally understand, and I know that some of this stuff was definitely uh, rushed through or just explained kind of half-handedly at the end. And, like, the Ring of Forgiveness, I think, even by itself, could have been fine if, like, maybe uh, he would have had a little bit harder time getting to it. Mm -hmm. But I, I think in general, uh, I think in general, everything was, was still pretty cool. Uh, but that basically starts to wrap up our time. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. But oh man, uh, next next, next, next week, week will be very sad, uh, crying about the end. But looking forward to yeah. the beginnings, the end of an oh. era. We 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 got two different Toku on this podcast. We had one, then we had two, and we're gonna continue having two. But this will be like our first kind of like guard shift, like for the <laughs> yeah. show. Well, talk, talk about guard shift. You know, you know what I'm excited for. I want to see that handoff. I cannot wait to see how they do the handoff for this season. Uh, for yeah, next season. yeah. The, well, I, I'm sh I'm sure that I'm gonna have a lot to say about that. <laughs> yeah, I'm 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 still angry about uh, Lupin Ranger, but it had one of the best handoffs, or at least the, like the best handoff to Lupin Ranger, where he basically swings in. Uh, and then uh, he swings in to to do the handshake, and then um, immediately gets caught by Pattern Red, and they basically just uh, they basically just face off with their guns that uh, point at each other, and it's like one of the coolest handoffs. But other than that, like I'm just really excited to see what they do for this one. Yeah, absolutely. It's I, I, I it's gonna be good. I'm pretty sure. Uh, but with that, we will see you guys next week. Thank you for always for listening to us. We appreciate you. Ne see you next time. Later. This program is brought to you by our unending love of tokusatsu. If you enjoyed the show, please be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. And if you would like to support us further, consider becoming a patron at our Patreon, Half Hour Henshin. You can get some exclusive benefits such as your name in the credits and joining our sticker club. Or if you want to help with a one-time donation, you can also find us at Kofi at Half Hour Henshin. You can email us with any questions or theories at halfhourhenshin at gmail.com or on Twitter at Half Hour Henshin.